Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can generate a chatbot using the Palm AI if you have the API key so which you need to get the access from and then you can come here and go to this website makersuit.google.com and then you go to this get your API key and you hit the create API key in your project so I have already created it so let's copy it and hit over to your quick start guide so now let's go to our editor and create a new file dot environment file and say let's hit palm AI palm AI API key actually it's palm AI API key and set our API key here and now let's go to our new file and say palm chat now for first you need to like install this package from the python and this is the google generative ai so we have installed it successfully now let's move to the second step is import this libraries so now next thing is grab a api key which which we already done so we need to copy this and configure our palm with the api key but our api key is in the environment variable so we need to load it like this from dot env import load dot env so now let's go and hit load dot env method and now see I'll set our api key variable to the api key uh, so we need to copy this and press here and we got the, our api key and we need to set the api key here in the palm configure method so when we have set the api key we can now move our to our next step that is the text generation and selecting our model so it supports different model but we're going to use this model text python so next step is setting the model model is this text bison now the code is here for the creating your own chatbot so what it got is prompt so let's copy it copy and paste here so the prompt is there and you can it's calling the generate text and setting the parameters here model prompt temperature and maximum tokens and printing the result so let's see how it works and we will call or save the file python palmchat.py so let's see for the response we'll wait okay so it has given us the response so you can create it and modify it according to you uh, according to you your needs you can run a loop and you can tell him to become something like you want to chat with your documents you want to chat with your data become a data analyst or something anything you want so i have already created and configured this to be a developer so we can have a chat with that and i will move it to a new file so you, as you can see first it has a main method it start the loop so it start asking you again the new prompt so what it does is call the main method and it's calling the set api key setting your api key here load the dot environment and setting your api key and setting the model and the user prompt is here so it takes a user prompt and it says you are a professional software developer and coder and you have ability to solve all your problems and given is the output in sorry given uh, give the output and here is the solve the user prompt so user will press any anything he want to solve 
So let's see how it works. We are setting the temperature and maximum token so you can configure it. So it's a pretty basic program. Now let's try to run this. Palm chat developer. So enter your prompt. Let's say hi. Who are you? And it says I am a professional software developer. I can solve all your problems. So can you fix my C code and give me output? So it has written enter your prompt. Can you fix my code? So it has given some code. Let's see if we want to fix some of the code here. Let's see, I want this. Can you fix my code? Fix my code here in C and give me result back as fixed code. Here is my code. So let's see if we have this code in main. And we have int x is equal to 0.5 print x return 0 let's see if it can fix this code so here you can see i had typed a wrong floating point here because it's an in integer so it has already shown me that error is here so this is the fixed code so it already showing me that here in this line there was error and I have fixed it and you should enter an integer and not and float. So you can see it's working and you can fix the code and it can also generate the code. So let's see, generate me code for prime numbers from 1 to 100 in Python and make the code modular and easy to read. So let's see. So it has already given us the code. So let's copy the code here and we'll create a new file. We'll call it primes.py. We'll paste it and in our new terminal we try to test the code primes and you can see it's working so the code from the palm api is correct so it can generate the code and it can fix the code you can make it to become like a developer an architect a marketing agent or any like for your ideas if you want to get some ideas so it can become anything you want so like if you want to check with the documents, be a data analyst and analyze my data, anything you want, you can create it. So that was it guys, a simple chatbot application using the Palm API. So I hope you liked it and please share and subscribe.